how to add woocommerce order details to google sheets automatically so if you also want to collect your order details in spreadsheets so that you and your team member can easily track all the orders that are being placed in your e-commerce store then this video is for you so whenever a new order is placed in your woocommerce store the details will be added automatically to your spreadsheet want to learn how you can automate this process come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is my woocommerce dashboard and this is my store and in front of you i will place a dummy order using some dummy details and after the order placement you will see how the details of that order will be added automatically to this spreadsheet but to automate this whole process firstly i will have to connect to woocommerce and google sheets application with the help of software called as pabli connect which is an integration and automation software i am an existing user of pabli connect so i am already logged in you can create your free account in pabli connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this view button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as add woocommerce order details to google sheets okay now i will select the folder that is main workflows because i want to create these workflows into a specific folder okay now i am clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application so this is how you need to always choose your applications in the trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case we want that that whenever any new order is placed in this woocommerce application i'm really sorry application then automatically add those order details in google sheets application okay so in this way i will be selecting both the applications in this trigger and the action window and now the idea here is first of all i will connect to woocommerce with pabli connect and will capture the order details here okay so that is why i have selected the same trigger even and then i will connect to pabli connect to with the google sheets and will add all the order details here okay so i have added both the applications now let us connect woocommerce with pabli connect with the help of this webhook url and the instruction for the same are already given kindly follow these instructions carefully okay so simply copy this webhook url then go to the settings sections and then click on the advanced section okay so this is my woocommerce dashboard i have clicked on the settings option then i will be clicking on the advanced option and after that we will directly click on the webhook option okay so give me a second i'll show you everything step by step okay so this is my woocommerce section i'm really sorry okay so this is my webhook section okay and here we will have a button we will notice a button so with the help of this button by clicking on this button i am going to add my webhook url okay so first of all it is asking for the name of the webhook okay so i will provide the name something like connect pabli connect and woocommerce okay i'm providing this particular name status will be of course active the topic will be the same that is order created and the delivery url is going to be the same which we have actually got from pabli connect that is webhook url and finally i'll click on the save webhook button and this is how the webhook url will be saved successfully in woocommerce and in this way the connection in between pabli connect and woocommerce will be done will be successful okay now in order to test this integration i am going to do one more thing okay here you can notice the response is also received so first of all i'll click on this button recapture webhook response and then i'll show you this note now log in to the application where you have added the webhook url and do a submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means placing of a new order in our woocommerce store so my store is already open and i am going to place a dummy order for this white round neck t-shirt okay so clicking on this proceed to checkout button and here i will provide the details okay so demo is going to be the name of 
of the person customer is going to be the last name and here i have the random street random apartment country company name and we have other details okay and this is going to be my email address let me also add this five here okay so now finally i am placing an order and as soon as the order placement is successful here in the woocommerce you will see the details of that order the very same order will be received here as a response okay fingers crossed waiting for the response and here you can notice the response is received in few seconds few minutes and now i'll show you the details one by one okay so here we have the status as processing here we have further details like the white round neck t-shirt okay here you can notice we also have the product pricing that is 1000 rupees and now i'll show you the details of the customer that is the name email and other details okay so this is the first name this is the last name this is the country this is the company name the city address and all the details okay where is the email address how about i directly search for the email address and here we have the email address of the customer okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between woocommerce and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new order is placed in your e-commerce store the order details will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i am going to send this order details to google sheets so the application is already selected now i'll click on this button directly clicking on add a new connection and if you are a new user you'll have to click on sign in and then you will have to provide the access of your google sheets account but because i have built this connection multiple times and i can use those existing connection okay so i'm going with the same clicking on save and this is how once again my google sheets account will be immediately connected with the pabli connect using the existing data so here you can notice my account is connected and because the connection is successful whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my google sheets account have started visible here okay so i'll be selecting this specific spreadsheet that is woocommerce order and product details because i have a same sheet and in the sheet also i have a single sheet only that is order details which has got selected automatically okay and as soon as you selected the spreadsheet and the sheet here all the columns name will be fetched up in Pabli Connect okay so here you can notice we have this order date order ID the product name product price payment method customer name customer email and phone number and the same column name has been fetched as the field okay here you can notice the order date further we have the order ID the product name the product price the payment method customer name customer email phone number city and pin code okay so in this way all the column names will appear here and now we can provide the details in these fields okay now you tell me from where i'm going to provide the details okay so remember we have already captured the details as a response of our trigger strip and the best part here is i'm not going to manually copy this data and paste below again and again okay i'm going to map this data and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down all you need to do is to search for your preference okay so here i would like to map the date so i'm searching for the date and here i have lot of date okay so i am mapping one date all right so in this way i am going to map the details in other fields as well but you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time in next time okay and whatever the details i'm selecting either from the drop down or adding manually those details will remain same okay so this is the difference in providing the data manually and in providing the data via mapping okay and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay asking for the price let me directly search for the price and here i have the price as thousand rupees payment method well i will have to check whether i have this data or not in my response and yes i do have have this data asking for the customer name which is of course going to be the demo remember i have provided this demo and customer at the time of order placement okay so i have 
provided the full name successfully asking for the email okay so give me a second first of all how about i add the code they basically the pin code okay that is also done lastly i will add the city as bhopal and the only thing remaining is the email address and the phone number okay so let us search for the phone number sorry let us search for the email address directly and let us also directly search for the phone number okay so in this way i have mapped all the details now i'll be directly clicking on this button save and send this request and after that i'm really expecting that a positive response will be received which means the data is added successfully okay so here you can notice it is a positive response going back to my spreadsheet and yes we do have all the order details let me first correct the formatting of my data okay here you can notice it is giving me the data into the decimal format so basically you can change the format of this particular column okay so here i will add something like plain text okay and if i'll click on this button save and send request button once again a new data will be added so how about i do this actually uh, all right so i have clicked on it once again and let us check whether we have the data or not and here you can notice finally we have the correct date and time okay so how about i delete this existing data okay all right so i hope everything is looking good we have the date the order id the product name the product price payment method customer name customer email phone number city and pin code okay so in this way with the help of pabli connect you can build a connection in woocommerce and google sheets automatically in real time and to automate this whole process once you have created this workflow inside pabli connect you do not have to do anything manually simply sit back and lags because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that to for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video